Hello, my name is Jasmine. I'm from France and I'm in Korea since two years. And now I'm learning Korean in order to find a job in Korea. Part 22. Let's talk about fear and phobia. Question number one. What image springs you <clears throat> spring to mind when you hear the word phobia? Sharks? <laughs> I will say sharks because I'm really, really, really afraid of sharks and deep water. So yeah, for me, phobia means fears and sharks and all the things that I, that I don't like. Have you met? No, I want to. I really want to meet, but I'm, I'm so afraid that I don't think I will one day. <laughs> Question number two. Do you have any phobia? Yes. <laughs> I have a phobia of deep water, as I said. Uh, actually, when I was young, I used to watch a lot of shark movies. Well, usually sharks in movies are really bad, but I grew up with this idea, and now I'm, I watch so many documentaries about sharks and sea. I'm, I'm still afraid about it. Like, really, I cannot go to, to like, deep sea and, and swim. It's, no, I cannot. <laughs> uh, question number three. How could someone confront of overcome phobia? Um, I think the person who has a phobia just need to go through it. Like in my case, I'm really afraid of sharks and deep sea, so maybe if one day I will see a shark, I will maybe touch him and see that he's not that dangerous that I can, that the TV show it, maybe I will get rid of this phobia. I think it's the best way. Question number four, uh, are all phobia irrational fear or their mental illness? I think it's mental illness because it's a deep fear and you cannot go through it and when you are really afraid of something even you cannot control your body anymore so I think it's a mental illness and maybe by seeing doctors we can we can fix this? I don't know, <laughs> maybe <laughs> Question number five Okay, this one is hard. <laughs> Arachibatirophobia <laughs> is the fear of peanuts speaking uh, to your mouth. Do you know one of these other crazy phobia? If you know, yeah, if you don't, uh, which phobia seems to be the worst? I didn't know about this phobia. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, yeah, I heard about weird phobia like I cannot remember the name because it's really long and complicated. But I know that some people are afraid of water. Some people are afraid of dolls. So yeah, there is a lot of this kind of weird phobia. Balloon? Balloon also, yeah. Balloon and animals also. Really? Yeah, some people are afraid of animals. I think it's zo zoophobia or something like that. Question number six, do you know anyone who suffers from uh, vertigo or fear, the fear of heights? No, I don't know. I hear about this fear, but I never met someone who are afraid uh, of, of heights. Well, I think I never be to, <laughs> I never been to a place really high with someone. So we, we, like I'm noticing this person is, has a fear of heights. Question number seven. What do you think monophobia, the fear of being alone, is like? What caused the fear and how people cure this? I didn't know about this phobia before. <laughs> but yeah, I think a lot of people are afraid to be alone. And how can they cure it? Uh, I don't really have the answer. Maybe just go to doctors, see psychologists. It's the best way to 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 ill this kind of uh, this kind of fear because it's really for me it's really a mental illness so yeah maybe by seeing doctors people can can find a way to not being afraid of being alone anymore <laughs> so question number eight are people in your country xenophonic the fear of the fear or hate foreigners or how is the country racist <laughs> Well, I'm from France, <laughs> and yeah, I think like every country, same for every country, 
people some people are racist some people are not racist so yeah i don't think friends will be special but yeah definitely there is some people who live in france who are racist and there is some other who are not racist but fear of foreigner i don't think that fear of foreigner and racist is the same fear of foreigner maybe you're just you're afraid of discovering new new things or maybe you're afraid that the foreigner who came to your country will i don't know steal your job steal the if it's a guy maybe steal a girl or like these kind of things i don't think it's racist so yeah we should like maybe separate fear of foreigner and racism but definitely yes of course in france there is some people who are racist like in us like in canada like in like all country around the world <laughs> question number nine is social awkwardness uh, disorder it is an intense Uh, persistence fear of being watched and judged by others if it's a disorder mm, I I would not say it's a disorder maybe kind of fear we, we can we can say that it's also for me I mean we can say that it's also a fear it's like the monophobia fear of being alone this one is like a fear of being with other people like having all the attention on you Yeah, um, I don't think it's a disorder, but it can be fixed. Question number 10. Do you have a problem with social meeting? Or have you seen any friends have a problem with, uh, with getting involved, uh, interaction with other people or being in a social situation? Yeah, actually me, when I was younger, I was really afraid of being with other people, especially during meeting. I was afraid that someone would ask me a question I don't want to have to answer or I became super red because I was really shy. Uh, I think with experience, people can get rid of it. Like me right now, I'm okay with that. But yeah, I, I was one. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine and I've been coming to Colcom since three months now and I really really like the place because I met a lot of new people. I came here to improve my Korean but actually I'm improving a lot. I'm even uh, like meeting people who wanna, who wanna learn French. <laughs> so we're just exchanging like English, French and Korean. So it's really, it's really nice and I like it because I can come here the whole day <laughs> study and by like in the evening can meet other people so i really recommend everybody to come here if they want to meet people if they want to improve their english or any other language you can guys come here and there is also a cat <laughs> coco <laughs> he's really nice and so funny so you should come guys <laughs>